Hey, it's your Dawson S from MimicMethod.com, where you learn foreign languages by ear so you can flow and converse like a native speaker with native speakers. And a common question I get asked is, how do you stay motivated while learning a foreign language? So if you've tried to learn language in the past, you probably had this story. You download an app, you get really excited about speaking Spanish or German or Chinese, and you do a couple of lessons, maybe you do a couple of things online, maybe go to a meetup or a class, and things go well for a while, but after a couple of days or weeks or whatever, you get demotivated, you get frustrated, and you don't want to continue with the learning anymore. So in this video, I want to give you a couple of tips on how to overcome that demotivation so you can stay motivated all the way till you reach the goal of conversational fluency. And to help you kind of frame this in your mind easier, I want you to divide these tips up into three concepts. And that is clarity, purpose, and engagement, okay? So let's talk first about clarity. In order for you to stay motivated, you need to have clarity. What do I mean by that? Well, for you to achieve anything, whether it's language or anything, you need to have a clear set of actions you're going to take. And then those actions need to be scheduled to a clear periods of time that you're gonna do them. So that's what a plan is, actions scheduled to time. And what I find is most language learners don't really have a clear plan of how they're gonna reach their goal of conversational fluency. Instead, they just do a bunch of random things and they're not quite sure where it's going to take them. And that's kind of like you're going into the jungle and you're not quite sure where you're gonna end up. Now your goal is to get out of the jungle at the oasis at the other end, but you don't have a clear plan, a clear map for getting there. So if you don't have that clarity, you're just gonna give up and leave the jungle and go back the way you came, right? So how do you find clarity in your language learning? So there's two ways you can do it, and I recommend a combination of both. One is you figure it out yourself. That's kind of what I had to do when I created the mimic method. And the other one is to take someone else's plan. And that's what you do when you sign up for a program or you go see a teacher. Now, I actually recommend you do a combination of the two because the problem is if you just stick to someone else's plan, then your mind's not engaged. You kind of just sit back and hope the person's gonna take you there. Though I'm a teacher, I'm a strong believer that all learning is self-learning. So my job isn't to just download the information into your mind. My, my job is to show you the path and motivate you to walk it yourself. So you need to do your own research, check out different plans, see what makes, self to, makes sense to you. Obviously, I have my plan and my map for how to get there, so I'd love for you to take mine, but I don't want you to take it blindly. Do some research, research make sure it makes sense to you. And when you do that, you start to formulate the clarity of how you're going to get to your goal of conversational fluency. Now, the second thing you need for motivation is engagement. So when you do a challenge or a task, it can either be too easy, too difficult, or baby bear just right. And when you find a challenge that's just right, you enter what's called the zone into flow state. And when you're in flow state, you're optimized for energy, you're optimized for engagement, and you're fully optimized for motivating your way through the challenge. So if you do a sport, for example, and you're in the game, if you're playing chess and you're in the game, if you're deeply immersed in a conversation or in a book, this is a flow state. And it's a state you wanna get into when you do your language practice. So if the plan you're taking doesn't get you in the flow state, doesn't get you engaged, either because it's too easy or it's too difficult, then you need to adapt your plan so you can find a way to do that. Third, purpose. Now, why are we learning languages? The problem is I find is people come in here and they say, oh, I wanna learn Spanish because that would be cool. Wouldn't that be interesting if I can show up at a party and I know Spanish? Um, how cool would it be to speak multiple languages? Trust me, it is cool, but coolness isn't enough. You need to have a stronger purpose. Why? Because language learning is difficult. Not just from a practical, technical point of view, you need to learn how to move your mouth in a completely different way. You need to learn how to think in a completely different language. It's difficult to get to that level. But more importantly, it can be extremely frustrating 
extremely anxiety inducing showing up into a conversation and having to perform in a language that you're not confident in having people staring at you you get self-conscious um you start to stutter you get embarrassed you hate yourself it's a very very emotional experience it can be very challenging and a uh, struggle for all of us so the question is why put up with that struggle and when you're in that struggle and you're suffering, you're demotivated, you're frustrated, if the only reason you have to sustain you is I'll look cool at a party, then that's not going to work. You need to have a real deeper purpose. Now, everyone's different and they have their different ways of channeling purpose in their life. Um, I happen to be of the belief that every human has at the base the shared common purpose, which is deepening and expanding our connectedness to each other and to the world. So specifically in language, the reason why we learn languages is so we can deeply connect with people who speak that language. Whether it's a specific individual, like the, your wife, your husband, um, your grandma who doesn't speak English but she was born in that country, or maybe the cute guy at the other end of the bar who is looking at you and you want to be able to connect with him, whatever it may be, your, your best friend, your coworker, your employee, if you have a specific individual in mind and you want to connect with that person, then that might be what drives you forward through the struggle. Or if you don't have that person yet, then the culture in general, maybe you're fascinated by Japanese culture, Japanese anime, or Brazilian culture, Brazilian music. So me personally, every language I speak, it always starts with a clear purpose in mind. And it, it's not, I wanna learn the language, it's I wanna more deeply connect with either this specific person or this specific aspect of the culture. So for example, for Brazilian Portuguese, I traveled to Brazil because I became obsessed with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Brazilian music. So I wanted to go there and train with the people who originated Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and they weren't speaking English. So I needed to learn the language. I needed to struggle through the embarrassment of conversation, struggle through forgetting words and not understanding and all those things so I can get and connect and be part of that community. I loved the music and I wanted to understand what people were saying, understand the culture. So that's what allowed me to struggle through the process of learning the songs, learning the instruments, learning the flow and the culture and everything. And as I got deeper and deeper into it, I discovered more ways to connect to the culture and got even more motivated. So it started with that. And it's different for German. Um, German, I wasn't so much interested in the culture, though after a while I became fascinated by it. I just met a girl in Vietnam who was German and we started dating and I was very, very motivated to get to know her even more. I wasn't satisfied with the idea that she had to struggle to communicate with me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna learn your language so that I can more deeply connect with you. So having that motivation, they're having that purpose, that's the ultimate source of motivation. So my tip to you, if you're learning whatever language you're learning, before you get too caught up in the nitty gritty of it, I highly encourage you to cultivate a passion and even upgrade that passion to an obsession, either with a specific element of the culture or with a specific person. And some ways you can go do that are to look at what you already are passionate about in English or your first language. So in my case, for example, I mentioned Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I mentioned music, um, maybe in your case, it's dance or art. Look at whatever hobbies you have and then see if you can find a segue, a connection between that passion you already have and how you can manifest that passion in the target language. Then in English or whatever your first language is, start to research and educate yourself on that subject. So for example, when I was learning about Brazilian music, before I learned Portuguese, I wasn't reading Portuguese articles on it. I was listening to the music and then looking up Wikipedia articles on the composers and what things meant, looking at the translation of lyrics and what were the allusions and the references. And then that kind of sent me on this journey to discover more and more things, get even more and more curious. So try that with whatever your hobby is. Let me know in the comments, what is your hobby? Start a conversation and you'll be surprised. Maybe your fellow learners might have resources they can recommend. If you have resources to recommend, please share in the comments as well. And 
you know, we're releasing a new free course soon. And this is actually one of the things we start with now. Instead of how do you conjugate this verb or how do you do this? It's why, why are you doing this? And how can you, what is your why? And how can you pump more and more fuel onto that why and have a big raging fire of passion to drive you forward? Because you're gonna need that when you're sitting there in the middle of the conversation feeling like a complete doofus because you can't access that word yet. You can't really express that concept or understand that person yet. But if you stay with it and you have a clear plan, you follow through on it, you take action, um, you stay in that flow state and keep your mind engaged and you keep your eyes on the prize. I'm going to connect with my girlfriend. I'm going to be learning Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with the founders. Whatever your vision is, when you have all three of those pieces in places, you can overcome any obstacle, any source of demotivation in your language learning journey. So I hope you found that useful. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments and I can come back with even more specific answers to your questions and details. Um, if you like this video, please click like and also subscribe so you can help us reach our goal of 10K subscribers. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.